the Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. According to Fidelity Investments Couples and Money Study, nearly four in 10 couples miss the mark on how much their partner makes. Now joining us is Head of Life Events at Fidelity Investments, Stacey Watson. Welcome to the show today. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell me, how did being stuck at home together impact how couples deal with financial issues? That extra time together has actually helped couples communicate more about both day-to-day -day finances and longer-term planning, like saving for retirement. And yet, one in five couples still say that money is their greatest relationship challenge. So there's still progress to be made. Now, what did the study find when it comes to how most couples communicate about money? Well, the good news is most couples feel they're communicating well. And that means they're more likely to rate their financial health as very good. And they're less likely to feel that money is that relationship challenge. And yet, nearly four in 10 couples completely miss the mark when it comes to how much their partner earns and half disagree on how much you need for retirement. And then we also found that same-sex couples are actually less likely to work together towards financial goals. So the bottom line is make money a team sport. No matter how well you think you work together, there's room to improve. Now tell me, is there a gender gap when it comes to managing long-term finances? Well, we've been conducting this study since 2007, and historically, we have seen that women can take a less active role, particularly in long-term planning. But over the past year, and maybe it's due to the pandemic, more and more women are getting engaged in both short-term and long-term finances, and that's encouraging. And yet, one in five women still say they have little to no involvement in retirement planning. So our message is, it's okay to delegate but don't abdicate. Staying involved in financial planning really can help both partners feel confident about the future. What advice do you have for newlyweds? Couples in our study had this advice for newlyweds. Start, um, make sure you have an emergency fund, start saving as early as possible for retirement, and make money uh, an open communication and a habit. Consider even a financial date night once a month to enjoy a nice meal and talk about money matters. Now, where can our couples go for more information about starting money conversations? At fidelity.com slash couples 